Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we're going to make this cute card here that I've created using the Add a Little Glitz stamp set. I loved the gift packages in here and I kind of wanted to do my own background paper with them so I'm going to show you how I did this real quick. So let's get this out of the way. All you guys who follow me know I am not a fan whatsoever of fussy cutting. Fussy cutting, I do not get along. So let me grab a piece of scrap paper here. And as always, in the top in the eye, in the right-hand corner, and in the bottom will be links directly back to the blog post with all the measurements and the supplies used on this card, along with the supplies listed in the description field of the YouTube channel. So I've got a couple of pieces of scrap paper here that we're going to use. And the base is garden green. We've got cherry cobbler and then whisper white. And I've got a strip of cherry cobbler for this too. So we're going to just set this aside for a second. Right off the bat, anybody who follows me know that I, I do not like fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is not my thing. But even I can fussy cut a square, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to stamp in garden green. Oops, got a little heavy handed there. Rocked my stamp. That's all right. Two sides to every piece of paper. So let's stamp. And then I'm going to come over here and just twist it a little and stamp. And then we're going to come to the top and stamp. All right, so we've got that, <clears throat> and let me get my other gift package here, and it is going to be stamped. Let me cover this up really quick. We're going to stamp this in cherry cobbler. Here's where we're going to use, I've cut three of them, like I said, even I can cut a square so all I'm doing is I'm masking off with my post-it notes doesn't have to be perfect okay you guys but there we go now I'm gonna take my other gift that has the a bow with cherry cobbler okay and I'm just going to stamp over the top of these. Pretty cute. Okay. Now I've got some little gaps, but that's okay. Not worried about those. Because what I'm going to do... Pull off our mask, and I can just stick those right here in my container and use them again in the future. I've got this little row of stars that I'm going to use the, I'm just going to actually stamp just from about this point to the end. So all I'm going to do is I'm just tapping, just tap, 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 and I'm just going to sporadically fill in some of the gaps. Maybe one more right here. Now, let's wipe that off real quick and let's get, bring the garden green back and then let's put some in these others. And I'm not worried about My presence because I'm only stamping just a smidge of them okay just getting that edge just enough to give it a little character okay so just you're just wanting to get the very edge alrighty that's pretty cute 
I think maybe I could do just a couple more. Let me make sure I don't have it too far down. But I'm just going to do a couple more. Right there. There we go. I think we need a couple over here. All right. Okay, so we've got that done. Now, we're done with our garden. Oh, you know what we're going to do real quick while we've got this garden green out? We are going to, on the inside of our card, I went ahead because it's garden green, and I have a piece of Whisper White. Got ink on my hands here. So I'm going to bring that over here, grab my little Christmas tree that comes with part of this set. Let's get it on our block. Garden green while we've got our garden green out. Okay, and I'm just stamping it down here at the bottom, kind of straight. Put that on my grid paper, just down here. Oh, cute. All right, so we've got that done. That goes on the inside, so put that up here. Now let's bring in our scrap piece of paper, and we're gonna do a gift for you, and we're gonna do that in Cherry Cobbler. Beautiful, love that script. Then we're going to grab our one and a half inch, one and a half inch circle punch. I'm going to punch that out. Okay. We're going to grab our one and three quarter inch circle punch. Out of garden green, we're going to punch us a circle for that. Then I'm going to grab my trusty dauber cases here. Grab cherry cobbler. And we're just barely going to do the edges here. Just barely. Just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Okay, not overdoing it. Just a little bit. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. Do we have all of our stamping done? I believe so. So let's put this stuff up so we don't knock something over or get ink on something. Not that I've ever done that, mind. <laughs> all right, let's assemble this card. Right off the bat, let's, uh, let's get our snail. The back of the paper, remember? Had a little, ah. Uh, Two sides to every paper. Don't waste stuff. No one's going to ever see it. Let's line that up on our cherry cobbler. Okay. Put our cherry cobbler down. You know, pretty quick to include a masking technique. Look how adorable it is, too. All right, let's stick our little piece of cherry cobbler down here. This is, uh, this strips, I believe, a half inch. It is. It's a half inch by three and three quarters. I'm just kind of going to eyeball it to the center. Try and get it good and straight. All righty. And then let's... A little snail on our circle and we're going to slap that down here in the middle line it up best we can then we're going to grab some of our dimensionals which I've got them back here a couple of dimensionals pop that up in the center a gift for you isn't that cute with the gifts? I love it. All right, and then last but not least, oops, let's bring the party inside and give us some room to write.
there you go. Isn't that cute? Okay, remember guys, add a little glitz. Cutie, cute, 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 cute. I hope you guys like this video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I would sure appreciate your business and love to be your gal. If you're a Facebook participant, jump down in that uh, description field. Click on my Facebook link and jo excuse me, join me every Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Join me every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Central Time. I'd love to see you there. Hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.